So another rough week for the Giants and the Jets play tonight. Week six in the NFL. Uh, the Giants are, are fading out of any kind of, you know, playoff picture. If, if they were ever in a playoff picture, which they weren't. They're now two and four. They lose last night to, to the Bengals in just another f- infuriating game to watch if you're a Giants fan. I mean, to let the only touchdown that the Bengals score be a to let the difference in the game be a, a 55 yard touchdown run by Joe Burrow is just absurd. The man cannot run. And listen, that I don't know what they were doing on that defensive lining up like that, but the whole team, they were nine or 10 guys on the, the left side of the defense. I could have run that in right now. Today, I could have run that in. Not back 20 years ago when I could run a little bit. Today, I could have run that in last night or today. That's how open it was. I don't know what they were doing, what kind of defense that is, but, I mean, it's just so infuriating. And then they can't score points. This is now how many years do we have to sit through? The Giants can't score any points. I mean, they don't score touchdowns. Another bad interception in the red zone by Daniel Jones. He played, you know, he didn't play well last night, right? You can't say he played well, but you could, compared to the way he plays, it was okay. It was a bad interception. He threw for 250 yards. He did, you know, he threw the interception, no touchdowns. That, that's what they do. He has six touchdowns all year. He throws, he averages a touchdown a game. There were rookies in this league throwing for four touchdowns a game. I, I, the number one pick last week, <laughs> just yesterday, threw for four touchdowns. Daniel Jones has six all year. And the fact that they're going with this guy as a quarterback, I, you knew this was the kind of year they were getting themselves into. You just knew it. If you didn't see it, you sort of coming a mile away. Did you think he was going to be any better? It's clear that the 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 playoff year was just an anomaly. They 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 all, caught all the breaks and everything. And and Dable's not a great head coach either. It, it's just the the offense. It's and it's it's just terrible to watch. It's terrible football. When when the when the team doesn't have an offense and they just stink and they can't move the ball and when they do move the ball and they get it into the red zone they make mistakes and they turn it over and then Cincinnati gives them a, a second life. The guy fumbles the ball with inside the two minute warning. And the Giants fall on it, but it squirts out. I mean, is that not indicative of the, of the last five years minus the, the playoff year for the Giants? I don't know what it is. Last night was just a, a picture-perfect cross-section of all the Giants games four out of the last five years. And they lose 17-7. They get a field goal kicker. There are kickers in this league kicking 60-plus yard field goals like it's nothing, like it's an extra point. The Giants lost a game to Washington because they had no field goal kicker. They couldn't kick extra points. They had to go for twos every time. They passed up on 20, 30, 20 and 30 yard field goals. Last night, you get a guy in there. He misses two field goals of 45 and 47 yards. Those are gimmies now in the National Football League. There are guys hitting 60, some, 60 plus yards regularly, like it's nothing. And the Giants can't even hit a 45-yard field goal to save their life. The Bengals are not very good. They were one and four coming into coming into last night. The Giants were a better record. Two and three was a home game. Prime time for the country to watch. And you go out there and play garbage offense. And and that's what it is. It's garbage. I mean, who wants to watch this? The only reason anybody watched it is because the Mets were losing nine-nothing. Which was worse. But at least they're doing it in, in the NLCS. Giants are doing it in week six and week seven and week three and week two. They don't score touchdowns. The Giants don't. You can't win if you don't score touchdowns. It's the pretty basic thing in football. If you don't score points, you can't win. And the Giants just don't score points. For years now, years they haven't scored points. They put up like 10 points a game, and they played well the, the week before beating Seattle. But but come on with this. This team is going nowhere. 
They got the Eagles, Steelers, Commanders, and Panthers are their next four games. They'd be lucky if they win one of those four games. Right? They're not going to beat Washington. Washington Washington looks like they might have themselves a quarterback, and he's been playing well. And they hung they they hung 23 points on Baltimore, who's the I think the best team in the league besides the Chiefs. They hung 23 points, and they hung with them every step of the way, losing at the end. But Giants wouldn't hang with Baltimore? What are you kidding me? It's a joke. Football in this town is a joke. The Jets are a circus again. They got the, the all-time quarterback, and it's just a circus. They fire their head coach. The, the offensive coordinator is not allowed to call plays anymore. You think they're going to go out and beat the Bills tonight? <laughs> not likely. Not likely. And we'll get to that in a minute. But with the Giants and the penalties, your best, your best player is Andrew Thomas, right? He's, he's probably your, your, one of your best players. He's the left tackle. He's a staple on the line. He's, he's a phenomenal offensive lineman. And he gets called for an ineligible man downfield that wipes out the biggest play of the game for the Giants, a 56-yard pass play. So they finally get a good pass play. Bam, flag, ineligible man downfield. And then on top of it, he has to, he screws up his ankle and he has had ankle problems the last five years. He screws up his ankle. Now he's going for an MRI today. He's, he's questionable. Who knows what's going, going forward with him. I mean, it's, it's just impossible to watch. It's impossible to watch. The giants are impossible to watch. And, and how long is this going to go for? How many times are you going to just rebuild? Oh, next year, next year, next year. It's the, you're the giants. You're the New York Giants. How many times is it going to be next year? You're not the Jets. You're the New York Giants. You win Super Bowls. You have great defenses. The defense, uh, uh, speaking of defense, we'll give the defense credit. They were okay last night. But were you really okay if you give up a 55-yard run, touchdown run to a guy that can't run? Besides that play, they were good. They held the, they held the, the, the Bengals in check. The Bengals usually put up 30 points. Last night they put up 17. It was a, there was a touchdown at the end that it, otherwise it would have been 10. But there was a no the Giants. It was a close game the whole time, and at no point did you really think the Giants were going to come back and win, right? Is there any point in that game where you were watching? You're like, I think they got a good chance to win this thing. No, of course not. But at, at, at any other team in the NFL, you would have been or. 25 or 26 of the 30 teams in the NFL, you would have been like, oh, okay, you know what? We're right in this game. We're only down three points. We're only down a touchdown. Not the Giants. Because what are they going to do? They're going to they're gonna get a penalty that, that takes a big play back. They're going to drive it into the red zone, turnover. Or they're going to drive it down in the other end of the field, miss a field goal. It's the same garbage every week. And then the coach, I'm sick of the coach at this point because now it's been uh, multiple bad years, right? I don't want to hear it. The the quarterback stinks. You knew the quarterback stinks coming in. I've been telling you, you don't draft guys from Duke if they're not playing basketball. Didn't we learn our lesson 20 years ago with Dave Brown? He is Dave Brown. I mean, Daniel Jones is Dave Brown. It's a disaster. And you're the New York Giants, and you should be ashamed of yourselves because it's supposed to be different with the Giants. They're a 1-14 in in primetime games with Daniel Jones as the quarterback. Primetime games, you get showcased to the whole country. Everybody watches it. Sunday Night Football is one of the highest-rated shows every single week. Monday Night Football, one of the highest-rated shows every single week, only behind Sunday Night Football. And you're 1-14. in that's disgraceful. They're two and four. They're gonna be two and they're gonna be two and five, two and six, two. They're gonna be two and seven, maybe two and eight if they're lucky. Three and seven. It's over. Better hope the Mets start winning. Better hope the Mets win today because the football is garbage, and the Jets are following them right down the drain. Jets play tonight. Of course, the Jets fired Salah, who was a disaster. Terrible coach. Terrible. Because you know why? Because the offense stinks. The Jets don't score points either. The Jets don't score any points. And they have one of the all-time great quarterbacks to ever step on the field as their quarterback 
a little bit older, but still one of the all-time great quarterbacks, like four-time MVP, and he can't do anything right with the offense. The guy he picked to come in and be the offensive coordinator has just been stripped. He's not allowed to call the plays anymore. They fired the coach in the, in the, after five weeks on a team that's supposed to be going to the Super Bowl or have Super Bowl aspirations. They got the Bills coming in who are not playing great. They lost, you know, they've, they've had some bad losses, but the Bills are going to wipe them out right out of, the, out of the stadium tonight. There's no way I can see the Jets. I see the Jets. Forget it. And Aaron Rodgers should look in the mirror because he's not playing very well either. The defense, the running game, Brees Hall, who was up for rookie of the year, the Jets are ranked 30th. If you're ranked 30th, it means you're behind the Giants. And if you're behind the Giants in an offensive category, you're terrible. So get ready for another snooze fest tonight at MetLife Stadium because it's going to be a disaster. And there's not even, and you, you can flip over to the Yankees, I guess, right? But most of the Jet fans are Mets fans. And, and, the Jets, Nathaniel Hackett, what, why is he even there? You're the offensive coordinator and you're not allowed to call the plays? What the hell are you doing then? Your team's 30th in rushing. You have an all-time quarterback who's now, you know, I don't know what the deal is with that. And I don't want to hear that, that Rodgers said he didn't get solid fired. And listen, Woody Johnson called. They have it. Woody Johnson said he called. Rodgers before he fired Salah what do you think they said what do you think it was a, 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 a hey how you doing what do you, you want to go out for a beer this weekend they didn't mention the fact that oh I'm thinking about firing the coach what do you think give me a break Jets and Bills week six tonight and and the Giants like I said I can't even with the Giants he can't even watch this garbage it's terrible I mean the 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 kid the kid running back looks okay. He looks like a Tracy. He looks like a steal, maybe a fifth round steal. He's okay. He's uh, but is that is that going to be your 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 shining star on the offense? A fifth round running back that ran for fifty yards last night, caught some passes, and, and played well. That's what you're going to hang your hat on as you lose to the one and four Bengals and drop to one and fourteen in primetime games. When you're showcased for the country, the New York Giants, come on. Football in this town has stunk for a long time now. It's a long time since Eli Manning was the quarterback and everybody was complaining about Eli Manning and how he's terrible and how he's not a Hall of Famer and how he's this and he's that. Well, you miss Eli Manning now, don't you? You'd kill to have Eli Manning on the center next week. Even tomorrow, even at this age, he'd do better than, than Daniel Jones. He tries to throw the, he's getting, he's got a guy in his face. He tries to throw it away and, and his arm gets hit and it's a pick. And even when the, the, the Bengals tried to cough the game up to them at the end there, they did their best. He fumbled that ball. The Giants fell right on top of it and it squirts out and out of bounds. The special teams, terrible. Field goals missed all over the place. You you don't miss 45-yard field goals in this league anymore. If you miss a 45- and 47-yard field goal, you're unemployed on Monday as far as kickers go. That's how it's that's how it's supposed to be right now with kickers. They're talking about maybe making the goalposts a little less narrow, a little more narrow because people are making so many field goals and such long field goals. The Giants lost the game because they couldn't make extra points. And then yesterday they missed two field goals, both inside 50 yards. That's embarrassing. Get it together. I mean, what are we doing here? Why not draft a quarterback? Oh, well, let's go with Daniel Jones, right? Let's let Saquon go. How's that working out for you? Because the Eagles with Saquon, as he's a star over there, because he's a star, and I get it, you don't want to pay a running back that much money, but you wanted to give it to Daniel Jones? That contract, the only contract worse than that is Dak Prescott's because he's making $60 million and he's losing 47 to 3. I could have lost 47 to 3 for a lot less than $60 million, a lot less. Like 5 million, I would have done it. 
I probably could have got him into field goal range, right? A couple of handoffs, a lucky throw here or there. Maybe I run. Joseph, uh, the, uh, Joe Burrow's running for 55-yard touchdowns. I don't see why I couldn't do it for a couple million bucks. I'll save Jerry Jones $55 million this year alone. The best team in the NFC East is, the, is probably the, the Commanders. And they got a rookie quarterback. One that the Giants could have had. They'd rather have Daniel Jones. Why? I, I don't know why. I can't tell you. It makes no sense. It's not like they score touchdowns or anything. That's only the purpose of the game, right? Try and score a touchdown. Try and put the ball in the other team's area. Call the end zone. It's a touchdown. It's worth six points. The Giants don't do that. They haven't done it for years. They, they're like allergic to the end zone. Jets with a big game tonight. The Jets are playing. And somehow, somehow, some way, the Jets are playing for first place tonight. They fired their coach on Tuesday. They stripped the offensive coordinator, told them, you're not allowed to do what offensive coordinators do. So just kind of hang out and be around the area because Rodgers wants you here. They don't score any points. They have 30, they're 30th in rushing. Like I said, if you're 30th in something, you're behind the Giants. And if it's an offensive stat, it's terrible. And they're somehow playing the Bills tonight for first place at MetLife Stadium. Go figure that out. I don't think they'll win. I, I I can't. I can't. I mean, maybe maybe Rodgers pulls one out of his ass, right? Maybe he he comes out. He just he turns back the clock for a night. And if he does that, then then the Jets could win because they do have a good defense. But yeah, you know, you, 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 Rodgers last week looked terrible, throwing two picks in the first half. The Jets would would just look like a disaster. So it's more likely than not he's probably not going to have a great game. But he's a great, he's an all-time great quarterback. So it's it's feasible. It's not out of the realm of possibility that he just turns back the clock and has a great game, right? But I mean, I just outrage. It's just it's it's just a, it's annoying because you you want to sit down and watch football on Sunday, and you got to you're stuck watching the Red Zone Channel, which I love. I love the Red Zone Channel. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I last five, six years, I watched the Red Zone Channel because it's not worth watching these, this garbage. So you flip back. If you get updates on the Red Zone Channel and the Giants, you know, they throw you in when they have nothing else to do. Oh, let's go to the Giants game. They're, they're, they're turning it over in the in the Red Zone now. But, you know, it, it's just, it's infuriating because the, the, the New York Giants, the Jets, you expect this from, Right. Expect this function. You, you, you expect the circus. When you, you know, if you invite a clown to the to the party, to the circus, it's going to be the circus. So that's that. Elsewhere around the league, though, interesting week six. The Ravens, and listen, the Ravens won their game over the Commanders, but a good performance by the Commanders. And give them credit. They hung with the Ravens every step of the way. The Ravens, remember when the Ravens were 0-2? And people were writing them off, and they were going to not make the playoffs. They're, they're, they're four and two, four straight wins, right back in it. One top three teams in the NFL. Commanders look good. I mean, he, listen, they, look, he's not Lamar. Lamar's a, an all-time great at quarterback. So, you know, the Commanders they have a rookie quarterback, but and he looks good. But he's not he's not ready to go up and beat beat Lamar Jackson and the Ravens yet. Not yet, maybe, but not yet. The, but the the commanders are four and two. They are in the thick of it in the NFC East. It's really just them and the Eagles anyway, right? Because the Cowboys, and that's a disaster down in Big D, they lose 40, what was it, 47 to 3 or four, let me see what it was. I think it was 47 to 9, whatever it was. It was a lot to a little. And it was an embarrassing amount of a lot to a little. 47 to none. Lions 47, Cowboys 9. Three field goals. I mean, if, to talk about embarrassing at home to the Lions. Those are the kinds of things that Jerry Jones starts firing people for. And he loves Dak Prescott, and Dak Prescott was a is a has been a nightmare so far this season. A nightmare. His numbers yesterday. 178 yards, two picks. I mean, no touchdowns. It's it's terrible. $60 million he's making this year to throw 178 yards and two picks. 
and lose 47 to 9. So that's what's that, that that that's the NFC East for you. It's a two team it's a two team deal, right? Don't even bother paying attention to the other teams because it's just not worth it. Uh elsewhere, you had uh Green Bay all over Arizona. 34-13. The Cardinals now 2 and 4. Okay, they're not a good team. The Packers, another team that started out poorly, have kind of found their way. They're now 4 and 2 and they seem to get they got their feet back under them. Jordan Love is playing well. He returned um, back after missing two weeks. He beat, threw three picks against the Vikings, but he came back and he played a good game yesterday against the Cardinals. They win that game easily going away. Um, Patriots, Patriots stink. We know that. Texans easy, 41-21 over the Patriots. Uh, the, NF- the AFC East is like, it's like the NFC East. It's, it's the Bills and it's everybody else. It's supposed to be the Bills and the Jets, but it's the Bills and everybody else. Tampa. Tampa and listen, Tampa's a, a weird team. They're okay. They're better than you think they are. They beat they beat up on the Saints in New Orleans, fifty one twenty seven yesterday. And listen, this this was a th- this Tampa team is is sneaky good. Baker Mayfield threw for over three hundred yards. He he's just he's play he's he's one of those quarterbacks. He doesn't look like you don't think he's gonna be good. But he has better games than you're thinking. You look at his stats, and he wins. He's now they're now three and two. They're they're okay. They're not you know they're not setting the lo- the world on fire, but they're a decent team. As far as the Saints go, they're starting to fizzle out. They're two and three. I don't think the Saints are going anywhere. A lot of people picked the Saints. I didn't like the Saints coming into the whole coming into the game. Eagles and Browns and the Browns. And talk about a bad contract. And this is why you and Browns, and you want to talk about bad quarterback play, and, and this is why you don't judge quarterbacks in the first you know couple of years. Deshaun Watson is now about to get cut. That is going to go down, hands down, as the, the very worst trade in the NFL, in the history of the NFL. They gave up tons of draft picks, tons of money, paid him tons of money. They are now screwed for the next five years. And they're going to cut this guy because he stinks and he's terrible. And when it, listen, nobody saw it coming when they made the trade for Deshaun Watson. He was one of the best quarterbacks, best young quarterbacks in the NFL coming up, up and coming. It, it, it was a no doubt about a trade for the Browns. You had to make the deal. And look at them now. One in five. They're, they're talking about cutting them. Nobody's going to pick him up because he's god awful. The Eagles, again, not great. They just skate by this game. The Browns are terrible, and the Eagles just skate by twenty to sixteen. I think I'm telling you, I think the the Washington's the best team in the NFC East. I really do. And and forget about the Browns. Forget about the Browns for the next five years because this contract is going to go against their cap for the for the duration of that contract. And it is a lot of money, and it is a lot of cap space. And if they cut them, which they probably will, which they probably should, it's going to just be even worse. Because it, it will still be on the books for God knows how, for like another five years. Colts twenty, Titans seventeen, Titans not very well, not very good. One and four. The Colts also not very good. Three and three. Listen, it, the, these are two teams not going anywhere. Not really worth spending any time on that game. And you know that's pretty. That's pretty much it for, yeah, for yesterday. The Cowboys is the big story. Obviously getting blown out at home. Just an embarrassing forty-seven to nine game. The Giants last night, like we said, the Giants are just terrible. They can't score points. It's embarrassing to watch. It's a year, it's week after week and year after year after year. And you're the New York Giants. Get it together. Get it together and get a quarterback. Because you all were bashing Eli and running Eli out of town with two Super Bowls and talking about how he's he's average and he's this and he's that. You'd all kill to have Eli on the center next week. The Jets play tonight. 8 o'clock, Monday Night Football, ESPN, against the Bills. And, listen, I, I like the Bills in this one. I can't see. Sometimes teams get a little lift the week after they fire the coach because everybody kind of looks at themselves in the mirror and says, okay, if he could get fired, maybe it was my fault. And they pick they pick it up. I think it, barring a, a, a Aaron Rodgers turn back the clock, you know, play like Aaron Rodgers type of game, 
the Jets aren't going to win this game. And and it, I know it's for first place. I know that, that, that if they win, they're, they're tar- it's not, the Jets are not as good as the Bills. Don't You can't convince yourself that they are. And you know you can't convince yourself that they are. So stop saying that they are, whoever whoever's out there saying it, because they're not. So that's going to do it for us here. That's the NFL wrap-up. Mets coming up in a little bit. Let's go. Come on, Mets. Let's get it together, too. Come on. That was embarrassing last night. Nine, nothing. But listen, that's not the show. So Giants lose. Embarrassing. Jets tonight, 8 o'clock, Monday Night Football from the from MetLife Stadium, the dump in Jersey. And that's it. I'm Bob Walters from the Brian Gunzel Studios. Don't forget to subscribe anywhere you get your podcasts. Also here on YouTube. And we are on the Swell app, so go on there and then find us, Locked Up Sports. We're on all your social media. You can find us anywhere and everywhere. So, till next week, everybody, I'm Bob Walters from the Brian Gunzel Studio. See ya!